New tonight at 10 o'clock, the Orendon City Museum has been displaying the history of Tupelo for 40 years now. Part of that display is the Black History Month banners collection. And tonight, four people were added to that collection. Our Gardner Montgomery joins us live in the studio tonight to highlight those men and women who were honored this evening. Gardner. Tonight, a councilwoman, a CEO, an educator, and a journalist who has stood right here were all honored tonight for blazing trails, inspiring others. <laughs> The special guests being honored joined the crowd in singing the Black National Anthem at Orrin Dunn City Museum before the unveiling of the banners. The honorees have all worked in Tupelo for decades and left their mark on the city's history. In what ways have you given to the city? Oh my goodness. Well... Nettie Davis was the first black woman in the Tupelo City Council and has held the seat for 20 years. Zell Long served the city for 34 years and is now the CEO of Boys and Girls Club of North Mississippi. The late Joe Ruff Sr. taught for 35 years while also working nights as a park ranger. And if you've watched our broadcast at any point since 1982, then you already know Wayne Herford. The people that I was honored alongside, I know all of them and uh, they were mentors to me as well. With these banners, they have now left their mark on Tupelo history. I have done what I do because it's the right thing to do, and if I could help somebody, that's what I was going to do. But to be recognized for just doing what you know is right is amazing. It gives me a bit of comfort knowing that maybe I did a little bit of good while I was here running around with the camera and the microphone like yourself. <laughs> my daddy died almost 31 years ago and it's so gratifying to me and my family that people still remember him and the impact that he had on the community. The four honorees hope their stories will inspire younger generations of black men and women. If I can do it, I think anybody can, if, as long as they want to do it, have determination, willing to work hard and uh, achieve your goals, you can do anything you want to. Don't be afraid to accept the challenge. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. The challenge for us is for us to do the same thing for the generations that come behind us. Now it's our turn to step up to the plate like those men and women did. You can find out more about each honoree by visiting the Orrin Dunn City Museum in Tupelo. Live in studio, Gordon Montgomery, WTVA 9 News.